Uh, about 2.30 this afternoon, the Madeira Beach Fire Department, Engine 25, received a call for an injury, possible electrocution. There's a gentleman working in the building here behind us. Uh, this is Angler's Cove, seven-story sprinkler building. He was working on the first living floor, the second floor of the building, doing some electrical work. He apparently was injured in the work that he was doing, and a fire started in the electrical room. Um, en route, the call was upgraded to a possible structure fire, and then eventually a second alarm was struck. So we had units here from Seminole, Madeira Beach, Canal Sun Coast, St. Pete Fire, and we believe the Elman as well. Um, what ended up happening was uh, the building fire alarm went off and the building evacuated. This is a building of approximately 45 units. Right now, 35 of the 45 are occupied. Everybody was able to exit the building without any incident. We had um, a sprinkler activation in or near the room of fire origin, which um, further caused some problems. So we had uh, some fire damage isolated to that one electrical room on the first living floor, a lot of water and smoke damage to other floors. At this point, the, the uh, Duke Energy was called in to discontinue the power to the entire building, and it's unknown if these folks are going to be able to get in tonight. We're working with property management and maintenance folks and their electrician to determine if we're going to be able to allow them back in. In the meantime, they are making arrangements for other places for them to stay. So crews were able to get up there pretty quickly. Um, smoke was really our concern. We did not put water on the electrical fire. We discontinued the, electrici the electricity to the building first. To, um, to secure it. And once that is done, it's a matter of smoke and water damage. So managing the sprinkler system, which activated, as I say, and managing the smoke in the building. Um, injuries to the gentleman are unknown at this time. I can tell you that he was transported to Tampa General. And typically when we um, have burn injuries, that's where we'll send people. So I only know that he was a male and um, he was known to the maintenance crew here that, that he was doing the work. Some residents reported that the power had been on and off during the day at various times while he was doing his work. He'd been there for a couple of hours. So I'll have more information on his injuries hopefully soon. Uh, fire marshal is on scene. We've brought in the state as well for the investigation because of the injury.